after months and months of working on this beautiful six bedroom flat roof maisonette we have finally completed this project today's video is going to be a detailed tour of the space that was furnished by agatha interiors we furnished the whole house from the living room to the dining space to the guest bedrooms and to the master bedroom and including the exterior so first of all first first things first we're going to start with the front porch that is on my right hand side so let's take a tour This is the front porch that is directly at the front of the whole space. So in this space, we decided to work with something that is cozy and functional, a nice chill spot for my client and her family um, on a nice sunny day like today. So um, in this space, we decided to keep it very simple. The only thing we added is a lot of plants because my client loves plants and nature. And behind me, we also added a few mirrors just to make the space feel more cozy and more lively. I love how the front porch looks. The house looks inviting. The entrance is so beautiful, especially with the additional colored pots that we added in the space. So now I want us to go into the interior and let's start with the living room. You made a big mistake thinking I would wait. You never took the time and now it's too late. I hate to feel the The main entrance of the house is this big pivot door and immediately after it we have the foyer. In the foyer we decided to work with a nice entryway bench that has storage for shoes for guests once they come in and we decided to put a few pillows so that you are comfortable while changing your shoes. Directly above the bench we have this beautiful large wall hanging that is a portrait of my client and I think it just filled up the space really nice i love the black frame it flows so well with the doors with the tilings of the space and everything immediately after the foyer we have the kitchen and the staircase leading upwards to the other bedrooms but now we i want us to first start with the living room over here you first meet with this beautiful console table that we accessorized with a beautiful console mirror and i think this space is simple nice and modern let's get to the living room in the living room, we decided to work with neutrals and a touch of blue. I feel like the blue just helped complement this space and make and, and uh, add a pop of color in the space. Right behind me, we have the TV wall. So we decided to keep it very simple, just a bit of wall paneling and small shelving on the end to put a few display of decor pieces. And after we bought the couch, we also got this beautiful auto Ottoman set that also came with a couch so we decided to put it on this corner just to have a nice chill spot in this corner and I just love how this beautiful wall hanging looks it's modern and simple and it just brings that golden touch in the space on this other side of the living room 
we put these beautiful accent seats just to break the monotony of the whole space i feel like they added a nice comfy touch in the space and they are super super comfortable in between the accent seats we have this nice minimal stool that matches well and seamlessly with the coffee table and we decided to put very minimal decor and if you have noticed this space is very minimal and modern as just as my client wanted it The dining room is one of my favorite rooms in this whole house. I just love how gorgeous this place is. It, it's so elegant and cozy at the same time. We worked with neutrals in this space. I love how the glass dining table is so elegant, minimal and elegant at the same time. And of course, you cannot miss this beautiful wall hanging that we put in the space. Also in this space, if you notice, we have worked with gold and white tones only so you can see that from the um, wall hanging to the uh, dining table and you cannot miss to notice the carpet as well the carpet also blends so well and seamlessly with the space i love how this space feels at the end of the video make sure you comment down below and let me know your favorite room in this whole space for me it's the dining room and the master bedroom but before we get to the master bedroom let me show you this other end of the dining room on this other side of the dining room it's the focal wall for this space when i first came to this space my client had a big blackboard on this whole space that i felt was not working at all so we got rid of that so that we can brighten up the space and we decided to put this beautiful buffet table that came with a matching um, buffet mirror and on this end we have this beautiful display rack that worked so perfectly for us to be able to display decor pieces on the opposite side of these um, shelves we have the sink area and just a little bit more storage space under the sink for my client to be able to store a few more things our toiletries and soap that she will need for the dining area and this place just looks really nice i love a detailed shelving space inner space and this turned out absolutely amazing and now that we are done with the living room and the dining area i think we can now move on to the bedrooms the 
So now that we are done with the dining room, I noticed, I forgot to mention um, the wall divider. So we decided, my client put this wall divider instead of a whole wall to have an open but yet enclosed living room setup. So on this divider, we decided to put this beautiful wall hanging that just pops so nice. I love how modern it is. And also we have the same divider concept on this other end of the space. This this divider gives privacy to the guest bathroom giving also more privacy in the living room it acts as a nice uh, modern way of dividing up the space so the space feels open and enclosed at the same time does that make sense I don't know if it makes sense but I know you get what I'm talking about so let's tour the first bedroom on the bottom floor which is the guest bedroom the first bedroom we're going to be touring is the guest bedroom. Let me just be honest with you guys. We used this bedroom to store all the extra pieces that we got. Like this single seater was an extra piece from the living room couch because we decided to add the ascent seats and we had no place to keep it, but it's totally functional in this space. For the bed, we kept it simple. It's my client's former bed and the dresser is just an extra piece from the master bedroom and that's just it for the guest bedroom. We all know that a house is not complete without the kitchen space. Let me just be honest, my client has exemplary taste. Her taste is top notch. Um, she designed the kitchen herself. So I'm just going to show you this because the house, as I said, is not complete without a kitchen. Just overthinking, I feel like I'm too much Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically the pantry space is small but very very functional so we had a few storage containers that i totally love together with the labels are they look so so nice so here we kept it very simple just a few um, storage baskets at the bottom level and we also made sure we had space for the freezer so this was just extra storage space that my client wanted to display something simple and modern in the space we have so many storage cabinets in the kitchen so we didn't really focus much in the pantry Past to future play. 
now that we are done with the bottom level i want us to now tour the top level which is also another favorite spot so up the stairs we have this beautiful large wall hangings that are uh, displaying the family portraits of my client and her children and they just filled up the walls very well they are modern and minimal so we have them up the staircase and on the hallway as well but another piece in the hallway that is just a statement piece is this beautiful light fixture i love it it's black it's modern it's minimal it flows with a staircase with every single detail that we have in this space and it totally complements the big windows that are letting in light i just love this functional modern and beautiful light fixture the family room this space is very minimal and modern at the same time i know you've heard me saying that multiple times but it's because it's the theme of the whole house so i love this yellow couch it just brings out a pop of color in the space um on the wall on the wall hangings we upcycled um some wall hangings that my client had in her previous home so the theme of this room was just a touch of yellow and touches of black and white i love how it stand out and over here we definitely cannot miss adding a plant in the space to bring in more life in the family room Directly opposite the family room, we have the second bedroom of this space, which is a girl's room. So the theme of this room was blue and pink. Of course, as I said, it's a girl and you know girls with pink. So what I love most about this space is the different textures that we added in the space. From the bed, I love the fabric and the details on the bed. I love the pillows and the rug. I feel like everything blended so well and seamlessly in this bedroom directly adjacent the bed on this other side of the bedroom we have the study desk we custom made this study desk just to fit the space something small and functional at the same time
this is the third bedroom of this whole house or basically the second bedroom in the upper level this is the girl's room the baby of the house of course she loves pink and a lot of dolls we maintain the same bed as we had in the other space but in this space we added a little bit of texture from the wall hangings to the pillows and as i said the baby of the house loves a lot of dolls so you can see that from um, the corner nook that we created next to her study desk It's all just overwhelming, I'm just overthinking I feel like I'm too much Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically, I know I shouldn't feel this way Finally, the masterpiece of this whole project. I love how the master bedroom turned out. This is my second favorite room in the whole space. I love how seamless this space looks. I love the interior design and the architectural finishes of this space. As I, to as I told you guys before, my client has exquisite taste and I just love how unique this bedroom is. When you walk into the master bedroom, you first meet the dressing table and immediately after the dressing table, there is this room divider that serves as the headboard of the um, as the headboard of the bed so the bed the bed is luxurious we got it from furniture palace it's a nice modern floating bed and I just love how it looks in this space directly adjacent to the bed we have this nice chill spot this is the focal point or the focal wall of the whole bedroom because immediately you walk in you get to see this lovely wall hangings that just portray the blue uh, that we decided to add in the space as well and I just love the detail on the frames that matches the frame of the bed as well so I totally love how this space turned out and I feel like this chill spot serves as a warm cozy addition to the master bedroom
problem solving in the universe working itself out all that i have is all that i need but to actualize it i can't doubt no doubt I love, love this master bedroom. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And now that you are done touring the master bedroom, we have one room left in the master bedroom, which is the master bathroom. And one thing I forgot to mention is all the bedrooms are in suit. I didn't show you guys the other bed, uh, other bathrooms because you know, they are basic bathrooms, but I want you guys to have a look at the master bathroom. One thing I forgot to mention in all the rooms in this house is that all the big windows that I showed you guys in the bedrooms lead to um, the balcony space. So especially for the master bedroom, the headboard um, is directly opposite the balcony area, giving you a beautiful view. When you wake up, you can get to enjoy the sunrise and the sunset from the comfort of your bed. Now let's check out the outside of the house. So immediately you step out of the main door, you have a parking spot of up to six cars. And then immediately on my left, that's why we have the SQ and the villas behind them is a two bedroom villa for the boys. So my client has two sons and they're all grown teenagers. So that is their villa. So we could not check them out because one of them was not feeling well and they were in the villa. So um, I think I'm going to be doing a tour of that much, much later. But for now, it's a two bedroom space over there. It has a living room and the two rooms are en suite. Now let's check out the remaining part of the house, which is the gazebo. Because this space is open and prone to dust, we wanted to work with neutrals and colors which are low maintenance. To make this space cozy, my client wanted a big, big TV. 
and we got a 120 inches TV on this space. The gazebo is not complete. On the wall here we have a half wall. We're going to be adding an island and behind them we're going to be putting some bar stools just to add additional seating area. Um, those bar stools are on the way. They are in transit. They are yet to arrive. So by the time we are doing the project reveal they were not yet here together with a few other decor pieces for outdoor and some plants. But for now this is how it looks and I feel like once we have the items here I'm going to be doing a quick snip it maybe in the future in my blogs and i'm going to be showing you the update of how it's going to finally turn out so at agatha interiors we design each space according to the client's wants and needs we don't just do interior just because we're interior designers we make the home cozy because at the end of the day after styling the home the client is the one who's going to be living in this space and it needs to be as comfortable and as gorgeous and as to the client's taste so let me know what you think down in the comment section below let me know your favorite parts in this home for me i feel like every single piece just spoke to me and thank you to my client for trusting agatha interiors for this beautiful home i subscribe for more content because there are more projects loading and please follow us on instagram at agatha interiors because there are many projects that don't make it to youtube but we post them on our instagram so thank you for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell i love you so much and don't forget that jesus loves you more bye